We had a serious talk about it, and he has told me, and I have told him, like, if you relapse, like, you need to leave me, and vice versa. And mm -hmm. he's like, if I relapse, like, I'm leaving you, and there will be no strings attached. Macy Bookout and Ryan Edwards are dedicated to mending their co-parenting relationship, and that means Macy is meeting the girlfriend he met in rehab. And speaking of rehab, it seems like Brianna De Jesus's mom, Roxy, isn't really taking to treatment like her daughters had hoped. We had like this, this like toxic triangle going on and it has to stop. This was an emotional episode of Teen Mom, The Next Chapter. So let's get into it. Season two, episode nine. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Macy and Ryan have been doing pretty well co-parenting after his latest rehab stint. And with Bentley hanging out with his dad more, Macy wants to really meet his girlfriend, Amanda. Well, actually not meet. Weirdly enough, Amanda was kind of around from like the beginning, the beginning. She was in my class. She was in the 16 and Pregnant episode. Oh my God, what is that? Oh <laughs> Amanda's been being super present for Ryan and Bentley, which Macy likes, but she's been to rehab, she's got a criminal record. Macy wants to give her a fair chance though, and Amanda obviously wants that too. It is important that they like me because I just want them to be comfortable around me. I want them to know the things they've heard or read is not me. It's just very important to me. Family is very important to me. At lunch with Macy and Ryan's mom, Amanda explains that she's had kind of a tough life. I get kicked out of public schools just from drugs and fighting and getting in trouble, getting arrested at a young age. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know why it took so long to learn, but I have went through like the ringer, like I'm not going back out there. Mm -hmm. And while she had been sober for two years before the rehab stay that had her meeting Ryan, Amanda said she relapsed when her parents died. My mom was related to drugs. She was always in active addiction, so, and then she started using with me. I don't want it to make out like she's a bad parent. Like she was young and then uh, shortly after my father just got bone cancer stage mm. four and passed away, which is also not an excuse to go back out, but yeah, it was very hard. Now Amanda's been sober for over a year. She's dedicated to staying sober and Macy is really good about giving her another shot. I wouldn't want somebody to judge me based off anything I've done in my past. Macy later tells her husband Taylor, but yeah, you're really not supposed to be dating during your first year of sobriety, so that's a little concerning for Ryan, but she's got hope that this could be good for him. I'd be lying if I said it didn't right. worry me, but at the same time, I think it's out of my control. Meanwhile, we've got a little bit more of a depressing look at rehab with Brianna, whose mom has been detoxing from methadone in a facility. Now, Brie is shocked to hear from her mom's therapist that despite all the happy phone calls she's been getting, her mom really isn't doing what she needs to do. I said, you know, Roxy, this isn't doing any good. I'm not doing this anymore. While you're here, you've got to work this program. Wow, she's been lying to us for so long. And let's just say the virtual family therapy session with her mom and sister Brittany doesn't seem to be helping. I don't give a what you say, Roxanne, because at the end of the day, you have never been a good parent. You're just selfish, mom. I feel for Brie here. She's in a tough position. Because I have kids and they play a big role in my kid's life, both my mom and my sister. What do you think about Brie's mom's latest struggle or Ryan's new girlfriend? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe while you're there, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call.